Well, now you're looking live at the Aurora Bridge, where tomorrow's commute could get even more messy. Tonight, crews are closing two lanes heading southbound for emergency repairs. And the irritation and the delays could last 10 days. Kara Sevens, Jessica O is live right now in Seattle. And Jessica, how are things looking out there right now? Monique, so this closure was actually supposed to happen at 9 p.m., but take a look around. So far, nothing's happened yet. In the time that we've been here, crews did bring out these barrels, but they have yet to move them over into the second lanes. Now, crews told us they need to close both lanes on this side to make space for heavy equipment, but drivers told us they're wary about even more construction. Every time we take it, we definitely do feel kind of the risk. Kali Kalanko says it's always risky driving across the Aurora Bridge. But now two lanes are closed and drivers are dreading what that means for traffic. Travelers should plan for delays because there's going to be less capacity on the bridge. Here's what the bridge will look like for about 10 days. A northbound lane will become a southbound lane. There used to be three lanes in each direction. Now there will only be two. Truly uh, sorry that that you know, offers inconvenience to people, but ultimately we need to have this important piece of infrastructure in tip top shape. Transportation officials know this 90 year old bridge is corroding, but say they won't understand how bad it is until repairs begin. There's lots of small parts that are all riveted together, and it's not until we take off the paint and the rust until we know how much we need to replace. Until then, they're asking drivers to be patient and to plan ahead because these repairs are critical. Even though it's a headache, even though it's inconvenient, I mean, it's safety at the end of the day. And I will tell you, standing on this bridge is very scary because you can actually feel the ground moving and shaking beneath you. Again, this bridge is expected to be at full capacity in just about 10 days, so about November 10th, and hopefully by then we'll have more information on the extent of repairs. Reporting live in Seattle, Jessica O, Cairo 7 News.